What's your prediction for when elements 119 or 120 will be discovered? These two elements are a sad victim of the tragic conflict in Ukraine because, as you will see from one of our videos, there was a really good collaboration between Oak Ridge Lab in the United States and the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna in Russia. And they built a new super heavy element factory where these elements could be synthesized using samples from America. Sadly, because of the conflict, this collaboration has collapsed completely and there are now some other attempts being made, I think in Japan, in the United States, to synthesize these elements. And I think they should be discovered relatively soon. It is a question of having equipment that is sensitive enough to do the measurement. Those last elements on the periodic table, the ones that only last for a fraction of a second, their discoverers could only make a handful of samples and they disappeared soon afterwards. Isn't this kind of cheating to claim this as discoveries? I think you completely misunderstand why they're making these atoms. They're making these atoms to find out how long they exist, how they decay, so that they can test the various theories and find out which predictions are correct. You can't test theories with something that's completely stable because it will never decay. So I think these elements are never going to be particularly useful, but some of the techniques that are developed could be really useful. When Brady and I went to see the accelerator in Germany where they were making new elements, we were shown how they were accelerating carbon nuclei for treating brain tumours. And what could be more valuable than that? What would you like element 119 to be called? What's a good name? I don't have strong views about the names of elements. I've said several times that I quite like the name Plankium after Max Planck, but on the other hand, all I would say, it would be nice to have an element name which is easy to pronounce, not just for English speakers, but for people around the world. We don't want another Rentagenium. I mean, I've been making these videos for a long time, Professor. What do you think about Bradium or Haranium? Well, fortunately, you're not dead. <laughs> and um, I think that unless there is a really good reason, it is better not to name elements after living people. Yeah, that's, that's what's stopping it. <laughs> and what's really interesting is to look at the heaviest element, which is number 104, which in that time in Russia was called what was the name? Kuch Kucha. Kucha. Which was called Kuchaturium. It's now called Rutherfordium.